Originally, I was gonna do something boring. Originally, I was going to do Eager Purifiers, an empire that is so eager to get to the stars to kill everything in sight that, you know, it, it becomes a thing. However, I came to the realization that's not nearly as much fun as something else that we can do. Introducing the Eager Terravores. Yes, Eager Terravores are rather fascinating, but not only, not only do they get the Stargazer's trait, where basically they get all sorts of insane detection related stuff, as well as uh, Starbase Influence Distance Cost modifiers, they're also Terravores, which basically makes them super powerful and they consume whole planets, which is just, it's great. It's like a light version of Purifiers, except instead of killing everything in sight uh, they are more like a force of nature and in this particular case they are primitive force of nature they're not necessarily a standard terraform which is like uh, a, a, a 9.0 on the richter scale no this is just a casual 4.0 they're not they're not there just yet also because they are hive minded and they are terravores and they are stargazers uh, it means that they get all sorts of crazy traits right off the get-go not only do they have Alpine Preference, have the Hive Mind trait, and they are Lithoid, because Terravores and all that jazz. Stargazer gives them a whole bunch of interesting uh, abilities. Uh, gaseous Byproducts gives them exotic gases a month, which basically makes our science uh, buildings free. Uh, Radiotrophic, because <laughs> why not? Uh, quick Learners, and then Fleeting, because who cares, they're Lithoids. And Unruly, because who cares, it's Unruly. Yeah, we end up with a lot of traits. Uh, also... Yeah, we went for the ruined quantum catapult. So, quantum catapult used to be really boring. It used to be one of the worst possible orders that you could put into the game. But now, with the stargazers and in combination with the into the unknown modifier, uh, we get a whole bunch of really cool effects that we can unleash upon the galaxy and look at all these worlds that are nearby that we can start gobbling up. Oh, there's three alpine worlds so close. I can't wait. Welcome to Terravores of the Eager variety, or more specifically, the Stargazer variety. So the first thing that we need to keep in mind is that Stargazers does have the sensor range bonus, which basically means that um, our uh, exploration vessels can see further into the galaxy than anything else. In addition, because we are Terravore, uh, it means that we can actually see things a little bit easier when it comes to uh, actively taking resources in space. But what is also important is because we are of the eager variety, we are perimeters, we get less pops, but also our capital system does not get pre uh, populated with resources. So we're just going to go ahead and actually uh, get some energy up and running straight away just so that we can get all the coverage there. And we're just going to go ahead and get all the my, uh, the plus fives uh, mines set up here because that's some pretty important stuff. Because we are a Terravore, our very first order of business is to set up a couple of core worlds, namely uh, these ones over here. We got Ashak, uh, Durbatur, and Deneb. Never go to Deneb because it's 25, only 25 million years old, and we'll give you space cancer. Irregardless of that, which is not a word, regardless of that, um, you will want to set up as many planets as you can earlier on before you go into the Om Nom Nom. And I will, I will explain to you what the Om Nom Nom means in a little bit. But uh, yeah, uh, basically you will want to get these core worlds set up as soon as you can. Because you're going to need to have somewhere to call home before you decide to rush the galaxy like the oncoming storm that you are. Also, one of my planets is called Smeggle. All right, I want to point something out here. So, because we are Terravore, we get a Starbase influence cost reduction of 50%. But, because we've also gone uh, Amoebic Synapses, there's an additional Starbase influence cost modifier at play there. Now, we're currently not using Into the Unknown, which is another Starbase influence cost modifier of minus 75%. Um, long story short, my stations cost 30 influence a pop. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to spread like a cancer before you know it. Uh, also, uh, this planet has um, primitives on it. Uh, they could not have spawned in a worse location for them because uh, this is a world that we need. And uh, yeah. All right, our core worlds are on their way. We got a nice little mining world up and running. Exceptional quality minerals. 
Oh yeah, that's the good stuff right there. And then we got this world over here, which for some reason is really good at food. We don't care about that, but we can get an industrial world up and running. But most importantly, we don't need a colony ship for the next one, because a welcome to the Neb with its primitives. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, I'll go and uh, eat these primitives for all the society research. Ah yes, invaders, we don't know why you are attacking us. But no, we will fight to defend our planet. We will not you. We will not yield. Okay, well, that's 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 nice that we will not yield. We'll see how long you'll last. Uh, not very long, I'm afraid. Uh, all those workers are uh, instantly onto the undesirable pile. And now we just get a bunch of food for no reason whatsoever. I wish... Can we actually do something with this? What kind of... Displace we don't want to do play displacement. We do want to have processing. I'm gonna turn them into food and we'll just sell the food off. Like it's not like we need it. But uh, you know, what are we gonna do with the food anyway? Like it don't really have a purpose for it. But we do to get a bunch of mines out of it though, and a bunch of society research, which is nice. And apparently they're not too happy about it down there, but who cares? Oh, consume world. Mmm. Mmm. Not yet, not yet. This is an important world. We already have a consumption candidate right here, which will be our first port of call, which will give us all the alloys and minerals that we will need in order to continue our feeding frenzy. We just need another colonization vessel to get that party going. But in the meantime, we have our core worlds, and that right there is super important because we may have ourselves a potential enemy over here, which is a little bit dangerous considering we are very underdeveloped. All right, first contact has been made. There's some Xenos next door. They're going to be super powerful compared to us because we can literally build only defense platforms. This is a problem. Uh, we're going to need to slap some, um, you know, some, some of that good stuff on there just to make sure that uh, we can get some coverage and uh, try to keep our defense platforms in place as, as much as we can but uh, we need to we need to eat this planet as fast as possible the problem is is that there is currently a precursor activity on it which means that we currently cannot colonize it and that's obviously problematic but there's another planet over here as well as over here there's a size 13 arid world which is pretty useless so i guess we're eating that oh also <laughs> you may have noticed that um our starbase influence cost is down to 15. Why is it down to 15, you may ask? Well, I did something rather stupid. I went into Stellar Dominion as my first Ascension perk, which reduces my starbase influence cost bonus to yet another 20%. <laughs> 15 influence per station. Thank you very, very, very much. Cool. We have the ability to build Corvettes now. That's at least something. It's not the greatest in the world, but at least we'll have a defense against these guys. We don't know whether, what they don't want to do with us yet, but we got terrible relationships with them. Whatever. In addition to that, we finally managed to colonize this terrible, terrible size 12 world. And um, we're just going to go ahead and consume this planet uh, as it is, because we'll get the resources out of it, which is going to be very useful indeed we also got a quantum catapult upgrade which is nice we just need the alloys for it now we can basically send our ships across the galaxy find worlds we can eat colonize them and then just fill up our core worlds with all the sort of crazy stuff that we can do with that but yeah in the first the first bit we're going to start consuming this world and we're also going to start consuming uh, this world over here it is an arctic size 20 so it's maybe a little bit too valuable how many jumps away is it one two three I could colonize it, like it would be worthwhile, I would say, but maybe not, maybe not. So we're starting to consume these worlds. Now, what, that is, what does that actually mean? Well, basically, whenever we consume a world, such as Delta C5 Prime, basically what happens is, is that, well, we consume the world, and it either generates minerals, alloys, or generates a pop for our empire, which is great. However, it basically destroys this entire planet slowly but steadily, creating a million blockers everywhere. Not that we really care, because we are after the resources on these planets so that we can boost our uh, core worlds anyway, but all the resources that we can get from there. Uh, especially alloys and pops are great to have, because lithoids have, have such a slow 
growth ratio. And basically the whole idea is, is to slowly but steadily start spreading out and take as many worlds as possible and destroy them one by one. That's the goal here. We are consuming the galaxy system by system, planet by planet effectively creating a dead zone around our core worlds of nothing but destroyed planets that used to be habitable, but not anymore. This is the true death space. And of course, whenever we get to the final stage of consumption, well, yeah, uh, the, the, the planet is basically instantly destroyed. There it is. Oh uh, yeah, it gets it gets completely annihilated, which is fine by us, you know. Again, dead space is dead space. We didn't care about this world anyway, and uh, we got minerals for the swarm this time around instead of pops. Ah, uh, look at that! What what's a joy to to get all of that, and it just means that the planet gets purged off of our list, and we move on to the next place. And because we have little jump drives, we can just hop, skip, and a jump to the next system. Because you over there have already found the next planet for us to capitalize on. And we are going to need to start to upgrade all of our stuff. But most importantly, at some point, we're going to start to get super far away from our core, right? And it's going to take forever to send our, science, uh, our colonization ships through. Except... We have a quantum catapult. So we can just throw our, our terravores across the galaxy and consume everything in sight. Isn't it just wonderful? Well, it was gonna happen sooner or later. Uh, apparently, we're being contained uh, by these guys, uh, which means that we're just gonna go ahead and um, set the war goal here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna try to consume these guys. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna consume them. That'd be, that'd be very, very nice. But yeah, basically, we got a total war environment going on here. Uh, we probably have more fleet power than them, but even so, we should probably uh, sit this uh, bad boy around the stations over here. And then make sure that we have the fleet power to defend ourselves and basically put ourselves in a good position before they do anything cheeky with us. What do we got here? Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting that is an interesting route to take here gentlemen uh i am not a fan of this at all especially considering i'm a little bit on the slow side to respond here hmm we got a reasonable amount of firepower as well this is highly unfortunate but it doesn't mean that we cannot stop consuming these planets as fast as possible of course because then we get the alloys and alloys of course mean life um a little bit annoying, under attack. but uh, we'll, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. No problem. No problem. I'm not sure whether or not these Xenos are aware how much trouble they are in, because uh, the main instigator, the Northern Empire, is basically being held back by a uh, fortress over here that I'm slowly but steadily just adding more platforms to so that they can literally not get through it. And on the other side, they kind of got themselves stuck into a little corner over here. Because they have to use hyperlanes, and I can just intercept through jump drive. So I'm just going to slowly but steadily just annihilate them. Oh, look at that. You got you got a nice station there, I see. Well, it would be a shame if somebody took it, wouldn't it? Yes, yes. It would be a real shame if somebody just came through and took all your space away and then go for your planets. What is that? I got an army on standby here? Well, isn't that just fortunate for what we're go is going to be doing here. How much army do I have, sir? 227. Well, I hope that your two pops on this world are ready to be joined to their maker because um, we're going to consume that planet in its entirely, uh, just like how we are slowly but steadily consuming uh, these worlds as well. Uh, the ones that you're trying to intercept, but I'm eating anyway. So what are you going to do about it? Whilst we're in this war, we've all just finished uh, our catapult. So the catapult is up and running, which means that we can do some aggressive exploration of the galaxy, especially with our colony ships. So we're just going to go ahead and just build like a whole bunch of colony ships um, that are just going to fly around the galaxy and just consume planets wherever they go. Are these guys... 
Oh, they're hostile to us. Well, that's not good. Um, this system is pretty tanky, but it needs to be tankier. So we're going to need to take care of that. Put some stations on that, etc. But what it basically means is that if we ever find a planet, let's fly towards, towards it. We send a construction ship in that general direction and claim it. Send a colony ship, eat it. And everybody comes back home alive and there's party at, uh, you know, 10 forward and all that jazz. Meanwhile, war is going well. We are uh, kicking ass, taking names, all that jazz. Yes, another system is ours. Let's see whether or not we can, uh, you know, do something with that. But still, you know, uh, we are capable of doing some interesting stuff. I did notice something interesting, though. I currently cannot, or I currently I can jump. But... Let's just... I, I want to do a little theory, theory crafting here. Okay, so because I just jumped, I immediately cannot jump because there's a there's a cooldown timer. But if I merge the fleets and then merge them together again... Let's just do a disengagement here quickly. And... Okay, so I've merged the fleets again. Can, no, I can't jump straight away. Because I think that if you have new ships joining the fleet, then you get access to things here. Oh, thank you for the planet, by the way, Xenos. Uh, that's very delicious. Um, I think you can have a reset on the timer, which I think is rather interesting, uh, which is something that we should probably keep an eye on. I will consume this world as well as its population. And uh, this entire empire is going to come with me, and it's going to be great. So let's, let's put this to the test, shall we? I accidentally uh, did not move a pa pop over to Delta Pavonis, and moving one manually there would take forever. So I got a colony ship now at the Quantum Catapult. I am going to Quantum Catapult them to the, st the system that I want them in. Let's hope that it's going to be arriving in a place where I want them to be. Let's just take you know, right next door. And at least they'll be able to do a lot of good stuff there, which is very nice is not so nice however is these guys just joining the pack over here i should probably reinforce this this station where are they going okay they're going down here into this little cluster probably after this station not entirely sure why i upgraded the station to begin with but i guess you know if you want a dead end system why not right like i, I guess there is use for that all right, let's try that one more time, but this time with feeling. We got a colonization ship sitting on top of our quantum catapult, which is great. We're going to ship them across the galaxy to the system we have just claimed. Let's see where they arrive. Arrive in the system that we want them in. That's perfect. That means we don't need to manually move them. Now this guy can fix this place, and then this guy can continue surveying for the next system that we want to colonize of which we haven't found any other planets yet but we will be consuming all of these worlds because that's what we do also this war seems to be going just fine it's not much of these uh is that primitives over there i would like to have a chat with these primitives and uh, we could potentially just throw our armies across the galaxy just to take care of that issue and then uh, we'll just send them back with all the Starbase fun and games that lost. comes with that starbase lost really where was this oh oh that is a problem oh because this army pff, eight eight sixty i got a six 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 point one k sitting right there that's not going to be a problem whatever it's always cute when a Xeno species is like, oh no, don't hurt us. Like, oh, you're, you're, you're killing our pops. It's like, oh really? You want a status quo? That's cute and all. Um, but yeah, before we do that, um, it looks like the war score hasn't ticked up to the point yet where that is even a thing that I would consider. Plus, I got more fleet power than you. And one of your big worlds is nearby. Oh, it's only two pops, but still. Several worlds are within reach of my stuff. I'm going to eat you, and there is nothing you can do about it. You know, it's always fun when people fuck around and find out because they're on the uh, receiving end of a ravenous swarm that is uh, 
basically getting stronger with every single fight that is happening. And now I'm going to take uh, this system with four pops in it. Yeah. Thank you for the planet. We will instantly start consuming that. And these guys can go ahead and heal a little bit. Now, there's one small challenge playing this particular Civic, and that is we cannot really reinforce our ships really easily. We basically need to build shipyards all over the place in order to, you know, uh, reinforce our stuff. Otherwise, we're going to continuously run into problems not being able to reinforce things because auto reinforcement doesn't really work with this particular type of empire which is a little bit unfortunate but you know it keeps us on our toes in the meantime we're just consuming worlds all over the place what is this over here remove orbital debris what would that even do require powerful i'm, I'm good thanks we're just going to go ahead and uh, rtb these guys just uh, send them home and once they are home we'll send them back to the quantum catapult ship them across the universe somewhere Eat more planets. That's how we roll. Looks like these uh, friendly guys are looking to uh, declare war on us. The real question is, is whether or not they're going to be able to bring these fellows with them again. Like, we do have the firepower to hold them off, so that's not really an issue. We do need to move the fleet away from the Death Star. We've got a couple of hundred days until these guys are allowed to move again. But yeah, it's... Concerning. Uh, I'm not too concerned, to be honest, because all we need to do is, is just deploy all of our stuff towards the quantum catapult and then, you know, send stuff across the galaxy, which is exactly what we're going to be doing right now, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and send two of these guys across the galaxy to an area we have not yet explored. So, how about this system over here? Let's see if we can find something, shall we? They'll be underway. Let's see if they found anything. Probably enemy territory, and then they'll be bounced immediately back home. Okay, so bounced home immediately, but now we know more stuff about their space, which is great for us. Intel is being generated. It's very nice. It's time for another Civic. Of course, it's going to be subspace FS because we need the naval capacity anyway, as well as the sub light speed. None of that really matters for us because, you know, we can just jump whenever. Uh, but the listening post getting extra detection strength is actually kind of nice. So we will do that. And that's hunter killer drones. I thought it was okay. I thought it was supposed to be eating that planet. Doesn't matter. Just gonna go and uh, take a look at this one, boss. Uh, all of that is going uh, boom, boom, boom. Bye bye. Thanks for coming. Ah, oh, yeah. There we go. Another plan, another planet successfully consumed. That's good. There's another corner of the galaxy that is uh, coming uh, up Millhouse. But still, not these guys are still looking to attack us, which is not very cash money of them. Although, how many pops you got here? How many. Ooh, they got the galactic market over there. I see. I am not part of the galactic community. If I would declare... Oh, okay. Well, they got... They appear to have two vassals underneath them. They are equivalent in fleet power, but as soon as I as soon as soon I jump, they're going to be toast anyway. Could, could give it a go. Could give it a go. Screw it. Let's give it a go. We're going to go... We're going to go in. We're going to go straight in. Declare war. Absorption. We, we want war. to eat you. Yes, indeed we do. We are totally going to eat you. Don't know what's in the system, but whatever. Let's take a look. We're all on our way. We get the bonus for jumping. What do we got? Uh, behind door number one. We'll arrive in the, in the system shortly. There we go. We got ourselves a nice little station. Okay. Okay. Station... Claimed. Can we... Okay, we're all just going to sit here for a little bit. Are they going to send a fleet? It does look like they are sending a fleet. About 7k. I have 16k. As well, yeah, it's, it's, it's... It doesn't matter. They're dead. Okay, so the station I got. The cruisers I got. Yeah, they are very, very dead. Cool. Then let's go straight for the capital and just do the coup de gras. This is going to be the shortest war ever at this rate. 
go after the station. And that'll be it. Let's hope that we got enough firepower here. Looks like we do. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How many how many people you got here? 83. 83 83 troops. 43 pops. We're about to bomb them into oblivion. And then we'll just consume the planet straight up. We are literally a force of nature at this point. So let's resettle quickly. A pop. We got a Oh wow, look at all these pops here. That's so delicious. Delicious and moist population. We do have some drones here already. That's good. We will immediately start to consuming this world. So we get alloys, we get science, we got food. Not that we care about the food, but yeah, they they are toast. Uh, we could actually get some research off of this. Thrusters, deflectors. It's actually not half bad. Let's actually send a science ship over to take control of that and we'll be golden can we actually jump to this other system no we need to go back here does it matter we own this system we own this empire this war is already over they've got literally nothing left so yeah good luck with that guys uh, i hope that you enjoyed this little skedaddle that we had here but uh your worlds are now mine and your pops are being eaten um, by my uh by my lithoids not that I care about the pops, I care about the planets, you know? I, I want to eat the worlds. Everything around me needs to be dead space. And that's how you win a war. Uh, very, very quickly and under an extremely small amount of time. And getting all the pops you need and then just moving on to consume the worlds. Like, I don't care, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna eat you all. Superior to me, I see. Well, that's not very good at all, is it? Well... I guess I just need to build some more fleets then, I guess. Reinforce them all and be done with it. You guys, can you go home yet? You need a hundred days to recharge. But as soon as you do, we're just sending back straight to the Quantum Catapult, which needs some upgrades anyway. Put the shipyards online and just take it from there. And let's take you home. There you go. Let's upgrade you and we are good. So as soon as somebody tries to jump us, just take him out. Just eat him alive. We could probably take these guys as well. Who would... It's Alliance of Second. Is that these guys? But that... Oh, they are a bulwark. I did not know that. That uh, complicates things a little bit. Could still take him out quite easily, though, I think. Quite easily. Well, well, well. Look who it is. Without any friends. Yeah, um, we're going to absorb you as soon as possible. Okay, where are my troops? You are hanging around somewhere. Okay, there you are. Cool, let's get the uh, troops underway as soon as possible. And we're just going to go straight for that capital. I think that's probably the best way of, uh, of dealing with this. We're gonna, yeah, we punch, punch straight through into their capital. That's probably the best way of, uh, of just doing this. Let's just cripple them straight up. Let's just make sure that you are aggressive as well. We want to make sure that, uh, yeah, we... We... Dive right on top of their capital. That's the best thing that we can do. Starfish launch. Especially if they are completely caught by surprise, which is what's happening right now. There's not much they can do about it, thankfully. So they're Hostile fleet rumbled. Just lost their capital. That's great. Starfish under attack. Okay, what do we got here? Just attacking Delta Pavonis. Really? With 2k? I got 12. Alright, that's fine by me. So okay, that's 10k. That's a little bit thicker. Uh, they don't have shields, though, because of the storm. Oh, they're getting eaten alive. Oh, they're... <laughs> the platforms are... Dis oh my god, I didn't even go. <laughs> Alrighty, then. Cool. Um, oh, let's rumble their capital, then, whilst we are at it. <laughs> <laughs> to <enemy fleet. laughs> they just got absolutely demolished. That is hilarious. Where did my troops go? Oh, right in one of the systems that I want to be in. 
That is great. How many troops do you have on this planet, sir? 87? Oh, that's nothing. I don't know why they do this. Why the AI does this. <laughs> Take these worlds. Yes. Consume. 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 Do we have population of my own? Yes, I got my own drones here already. And that's excellent. Can we move to the next system already? Yes, we can. That's their capital, by the way. Uh, where are you? Okay. You got a little bit more armies here? 96. Okay. Sure. Why not? It's just... It's <laughs> a lot of the time, I just don't understand it. The main reason why I did it as well is because there's a little uprising going on in this empire. And it basically gives us an opportunity to... Just rumble them straight up. We're just gonna go uh, just straight, uh, straight ahead just to consume this world. Like, it's just not even an issue to us anymore. Why can we not consume this planet, though? Let me take a look here. What's going on? Consume this. Number of available districts is greater than zero. Do we need to, like, demolish a district or something? Let's take a look here. Now we can consume. Okay, cool. So, then we just move the troops to the next system as soon as we can. Are they attacking again? Where is what's happening this time? 12k. With what? A couple of science ships. Well, they just die instantly. 8k. Okay, well, let's see, let's see what's happening this time. No. 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 Starbase. Very... <laughs> wow. This is probably the like they got so much territory as well, and I just I just jumped them, and now they're all going to die. It's just so unfortunate for them that this is gonna happen. Like now I just take another world here, and you guys you can just go over here and take the world over there, like another capital, no problem. How many how many, how many pops you got here, sir? Oh, twenty nine. Another eleven. Yeah, we're gonna eat all of those. Uh, your worlds have already fallen. Your capital is dead. Your empire is toast. Good luck with the rest of that. I'm afraid this is going to be it. We got a lot of enemies sitting right in top of, uh, right in the middle of our space. I could try to squeeze in a quantum catapult assault. Let's just get a bunch of boosts here, but. Uh, I'm just spread way too thin at the moment, which is Hostile extremely unfortunate. Hostile fleet rumbled. Like 8,000. Oh no, attack. this is gonna be extremely Research painful. Because all my battleships. Rocking up to enemy like, even though the battleships seem to be holding up quite nicely. Um, oh, they're at my capital system. Oh, that's just that's just amazing. Okay, so that's an issue. Where is the rest of my fleet? Okay, there is a couple thousand fleet power. Colony launch. And, okay, I'm starting to lose planets now. That is an issue. Down to three worlds. Space board, life form, mm -hmm. encounter. Going after Star yet another one. Under attack. Mm-hmm. Like I said, you know, it was fun. Terravores are always interesting to play with, but obviously, um, being doing the whole stargazers, not doing hyperdrive, etc., is 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 a pretty big challenge. So that's essentially the world that we are in right now. But we're trying just to quit. Ah, <laughs> another another planet gone. Oh dear. Uh, we got pushed back super hard, which is super unfortunate. We did kill, like, oh, we did eat, like, a whole bunch of planets. And we were basically the biggest, baddest baddies on the block. Maybe we can do a little bit of pushback. Well, the problem is, is that are my pups being purged here? Yeah, that's very, very bad. I just need to have... Jump. Military station launched. Okay, just take the place back. That's good. But of course, I just don't have a range on my jump drives. That's a whole separate discussion. 
Starfish. Okay, lost. here. I got, I got, I got enough firepower. It's just all my pops are going to die at this at this stage. And the con died. Oh, <laughs> to hold off the fight. Starfish yeah, this is this is going to be unsalvageable at this point. We have lost the war. They managed to hold come in just in time to hold us all off. That is unfortunate. We just lost all of our stuff. Well, <sighs> fun run. Don't get me wrong. You know, the whole Stargazers with Terravor. Very, very good. <sighs> the, the problem is, is that you you will need to swap to hyperlane at some point because you just don't have the ability to very quickly project your firepower across the galaxy which is just unfortunate and then you get into towards this situation where everybody's just jumping you we ate our fair share of planets let's take a look how many how many planets did we end up eating uh the vran eh, it doesn't say here how many how many we ate but it was a significant amount like it is dead space around here at the moment like all of these planets are gone Except there are planets, of course. You know, it's it's nice that they managed to take all of that. But in the end, you know, I managed to take this empire down here. The problem was I didn't have the range or the jump drives to get to their final planet. And then they pushed all the way back, which was a bit unfortunate. So basically, I had a big open line here. And then they pushed in through the north and the south here with the alliance of Sanak. And if I had my fleets available, I would have been able to hold them back. But sadly, that wasn't the case here. And for some reason, this station is still surviving out there somehow. Probably because they've got a ton of firepower on them. But again, you know, if I managed to have the, the range on the jump drives, then it would have been nice. And this is one of the big weaknesses, I feel, when it comes to the subspace drive itself. It's not upgradable. You cannot improve the jump range. You cannot iterate on the technology, which is just such a shame. Um, you know, my battleships were basically unable to really deploy themselves because they just don't have the range, etc. Which is one of the big weaknesses of this build. So if you're going to go down this route, um, just be extremely careful. But have a lot of fun with it, especially with the catapults. Uh, you can basically just throw yourself across the galaxy and just find whatever target you want and really deploy yourself. Plus, you will get an assault bonus to boot. Which basically means that you can completely bypass enemy systems and just take their planets straight up and just start consuming them underneath their uh, underneath their very feet, which is a lot of fun, of course. The big problem I had, of course, my economy, uh, a lot of resources being eaten up, eaten up by the naval capacity now, at least because I don't have the anchorages anymore, which is of course unfortunate as well because most of my space got completely gobbled up. It is what it is. You know, I hope that you've enjoyed this. In the meantime, though, if you want to see more stuff that can happen with the Eager species, the Eager modifier or the Stargazer modifier, feel free to go and check out this video. This is about primitives that are trying to escape their doomed homeworld. Yes, they are desperate uh, explorers, which is, you know, the fun kind. So feel free to go and check out that, that video. If you click helps, of course, it is for the wonders. That is the... A YouTube algorithm. In the meantime, though, thank you so much for my patrons for making this video possible. And until next time, take good care of yourselves and as always, each other.